What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing Atlas Rise by Metallica. Uh, this is going to be in standard E tuning, so go ahead and grab your guitar and we'll get started. Okay guys, we got a couple riffs to learn here. We got riff A, which is this. We got riff B, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and depending how you look at it, we might have a riff C. I'm going to go ahead and explain that as we go. The most important riff to know though is riff A and how I'm going to split it into sections. Why? Because riff A kind of bleeds into riff B, and then the ending of riff B, when we get there, will B will lead into C, just depending on how you look at that one though. So riff A, we're going to start this first half. We're going to start right here. That's a portion of riff A, and we're going to learn that because that will bleed into riff B. You want to remember that part's very important. So how do you do that? We're going to start with an A5 power chord, so it's this. One strum down and you're strumming the fifth string open. While you're holding the first finger, fret two, uh, string four, and fret two, string three. So it's like this. But you play it as one strum. Okay, that's the first thing to get down. Then we gotta make sure you stay loose. You wanna stay relaxed when you're doing this song because it's a lot of down plugs. So stay loose, make sure you're stretched out and warmed up. We're gonna do two palm mutes on that A string. So we got this, A5 chord, into those two palm mutes. Then, now we're gonna start uh, with fret two, string four, and string three. Uh, fret two for both. And these are fourths apart. We're gonna be coming back to this a lot. I like to use my first finger, I don't use two, I use just one and I bar it. So, two strings alone, okay? Or not alone, but together, but you know. So we got this so far, we got the A5, two palm mutes, into those fourths, fret two. So, all together. Then we come back for another palm mute, string five. After that, you, and remember, that's only one palm mute on that one. Then you come back for that, those two notes right here, the fourths. So we got this so far. That right there is the most important part to get down. It's going to happen in a lot of parts in this song. So we got this. A little slower. One more time. Okay. Now, the next part we're going to cut off. Now, that's one section of A. Now, the next part is going to be two palm mutes A into those fourths again on fret two, back to another palm mute on A. Not so hard, but now let's put them both together. Now, I want you to remember that first part, this one, that Keep that in your head because that's going to come back a lot. So, here it is so far. I'm going to put a little pause between both so you can hear them. Okay. Now I'm going to take that pause out and try to blend it a little easier for you now. Whoops. Let me try that again. Now we got this little tell in piece to finish up A, which is this. What we're doing there is we're going to pluck on those fourths again, which is going to be uh, fret two for both, string four and three. We're going to stay on those strings, by the way. You're going to pluck it and you're going to hammer on to fret three. Some people use two fingers. I use just my middle finger and I keep it flat. Uh, string four, string three again. Fret three now though. Hammer on. Play back on fret two for both. And then you pull off on from fret two to open. 
So you got this, hammer on to three, back to two, pull off from two. See that? And you don't have to move drastically with your hand. I'm just getting out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. See, that's two movements. Pluck, hammer on, pluck, pull off. Both from two. So that's all of riff A. So let me put it together, put the little sections in between them, and then I'll iron it out. So... Let me try that again. See that? Now I'm going to put it a little faster. Okay, that is going to happen three times and then we're going to go into riff B. So let me get you there to riff B. So it's going to go like this. I'm going to play it slow, but I'm going to play consistent. No pauses. I want you to work on this too. That's three. Just so you know, every time you loop it, you go right back to the A5. Remember, it's all three strings together, okay? And then we're gonna go into riff B. Okay, guys, like I said, riff A is kind of part of riff B. Now, riff B is gonna be kind of part of riff C, which we'll get to in a moment. So, I hope you learned riff A. Here's the part of riff A you'll need. Remember how I said that first section is this? I hope you learned that. If you haven't, go back and watch that first section and learn it because that's what we're starting with. So you should know that by now, so it's this. Up to there, okay? So. Then what happens is we're gonna do the other part of riff A where we go. But I'm gonna go ahead and re-explain that because it's kind of like a part of riff B. So what we're doing there is once again we're gonna start fret two those fourths string four string three you're gonna pluck it hammer on to fret three same strings go back to fret two pluck it and pull off see that okay then we're gonna have this descending thing so what are we doing there is now I use two fingers. You don't have to, you can still use just your middle if you want, but I use two fingers and I'm gonna do five and four strings, third fret, palm muted. Okay, so five and four together, palm muted, one pluck. Fret two, five and four strings. I use my first finger only. So three to two to open five and four strings. So. And then after that, we go fret three, string six and five together for one palm you. So, okay, but it comes from here, remember. Okay. Now, to put all the riff B together, it's technically this. Which you should know by now. Then. So. One more time. See that? Let me slow that down a little more now. Get used to that. Now the thing from A to B, and I'm gonna explain it here now, and I'm gonna explain it a little bit later when I put the whole thing together, but A is played three times, and then you jump into B for one. Now remember, B starts with this. Going into it, the other part that we just learned. But that you wanna consider as B, because that, that'll help you remember. So A plays three times, B is once right after. So it's like this, A. B, 
and then we're gonna learn C now. Okay guys, technically this is C, but I said it just depends on how you look at it because it's part of riff A, that first important section, and then this part of riff B. So it's kind of them combined. I'm gonna call it C just so you could see it's separate. And uh, you don't have to learn anything as long as you already know A and B. So I'm just gonna do it more in an explanation form. So here's the first half from riff A that you're using. And then B, the tail end, which is. Okay, so this happens at the very end of the riff before you go into the next section of the song. So what are we doing here is A once, that first part, and then two of B. And that's what riff C is. So part of A. Sorry, let me do that again. Part of A. And then the last part of B. Twice. And then it ends with an A5 power chord, which is the first chord you learned from the beginning. So. That's all riff C is. And now, like I said, I hope you learned A and B because that will make a lot more sense. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the sections together so you can start practicing it as a whole. Okay, I hope you learned A, B, and C. Go back and watch them as needed. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the order for the song so you can play it. So what's gonna happen now is A is gonna be played three times. I'm gonna go ahead and explain it all and do it all. And then at the end, I'm gonna break them into a slow, a medium, and a fast pace so you can play along. Okay, so A is gonna happen three times. Then B happens on the fourth one. Then coming into the number five, it's gonna go back to A. Then number six is B. Number seven is back to A. Then number eight is C. That's pretty much everything. So think of it this way. So three times is A. Number four, the fourth time around is B. Fifth time around is A. Sixth time around is B. Seventh is A. And then number eight is C. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and split these up into uh, slow, medium, and fast modes for you. Okay, so here's the slow. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little faster. So this one's B, or I'm not, I'm sorry, not B, but medium pace. Here's the regular pace for the song, or fast pace, whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, I hope you learned something as always, and if you need more help with this song, other songs, or if you feel stuck in your guitar playing, I'm a Skype guitar instructor, and you can learn more about that 
at mountainsideguitar.com and you can also read what my current students have to say about me right now. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next guitar lesson video.